This is one of the most popular questions submitted to What If. What would happen if everyone on Earth stood as close to each other as they could, jumped, and landed on the ground at the same instant? At the start of the scenario, the entirety of Earth's population has been magically transported together into one place. This crowd takes up an area the size of Rhode Island. In fact, let's assume they, I mean we, are actually in Rhode Island. At the stroke of noon, everyone jumps. As discussed elsewhere, this jump doesn't really affect the planet. Earth outweighs us by a factor of over 10 trillion. The Earth would still only be pushed down by less than an atom's width. Next, everyone falls back to the ground. Technically, this delivers a lot of energy into the Earth, but it's spread out over a large enough area that it doesn't do much more than leave footprints in a lot of gardens. The sound of 12 billion feet hitting the ground does create a loud, drawn-out roar which lasts many seconds. Eventually, the air grows quiet. Outside Rhode Island, abandoned machinery begins grinding to a halt. Airplanes drift through the skies on autopilot trajectories. Food starts burning on abandoned kitchen stoves. Soccer balls complete their trajectories into now vacant goals. And empty playground swings gradually drift to a halt. Back in Rhode Island, people, many people, begin to wonder, how do we get everyone home? The TF Green Airport in Warwick, Rhode Island handles a few thousand passengers a day. Assuming they got things organized, they could run at 500% capacity for 100 years without making a dent in the crowd. Crowds climb on board container ships in the deep water port of Providence, but stocking sufficient food and water for a long sea voyage proves a challenge. Rhode Island's million cars are commandeered. Moments later, I-95, I-195, and I-295 become the sites of the largest traffic jams in the history of the planet. Some make it past New York or Boston before running out of fuel. Since the electricity is probably not on at this point, rather than finding a working gas pump, it's easier to just abandon the car and get in a new one. After all, who can stop you? All the cops are in Rhode Island. Even if people cooperate, everyone is hungry and thirsty. Fresh water is hard to come by, and there's no efficient system for distributing it. Sanitation is a disaster, and healthcare infrastructure non-existent. Within weeks, Rhode Island is a graveyard of billions, including most of the people who submitted this question, probably you and me too. And most importantly, the Earth's rotation and orbit are completely unaffected. It spins along exactly as it did before our species-wide jump. Note to future civilizations, let's not try that again.